Hello! Well, we've had a fantastic day today, oh, yes. treasure hunting, <laughs> and we have found another bucket list find, yeah. and it is fantastic. Yeah, we're so pleased. Along it? with a whole host of other treasures. So if you want to find out what they are, keep watching. So, let's, let's do, do it! it. My first find is a good old heart pipe. Okay, so these are my first finds. It's a mother of pearl button that is a little bit crumbly. Um, this kind of cabochon thing that I think may have actually been a button at some point. I think the shank would have been in there. But it would make a great cabochon for a piece of jewellery. And I saw this bit of clay pipe bowl sticking out. I think it's got quite a nice design on it. Yeah, it's got kind of like a fluted design going on. Oh, it does have a bit of a chip out of it though. Might have to leave that behind. Actually, I saw this little bit of green glass glinting at me and I poked it and you know what? I think it's a little gem. Yeah, look at that. It is. It's a tiny little green gem out of something. Can you see it? The colour? I don't know if you can see the colour of it there. The sun. Oh, that's really cool. That could go in a delicate little ring or something. And this looks like a button. Yes it is. But whether it's got any names on it or not, I'm not quite sure yet. So we'll have to see. <gasps> I just spotted something. Is it a bead? Is it a bead? Yes! <gasps> Look at the colour of that. That is beautiful. First bead, and I hope not last bead of the day. It's quite a big one too. See if this is whole. Oh no, got a chip out of it. What does that say? The I can't read it. Workman, of course. <laughs> the workman. Fantastic. Something metal down here. <clears throat> What's this? Oh. I'm not sure. I think it's part of a toy. Pocket watch. You know, they were flat. And that would have been the top. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure if I found anything here or not. There's a bit of brass in there and it's like, oops, it's all crinkly. Might have to take that just in case it could be something. I don't want to risk leaving it behind. Oh, actually, there's a little glass button there as well. There's a little glass disc here. <clears throat> oh, that's interesting. Look, it's been out, it's been cut out of some like privacy glass, a patterned glass. So maybe it was out of a window, fancy window of some sort. Well, that's interesting, didn't expect that. Ready made pendant right there. This little shard of doll's head. It's going to make a great piece of jewellery. I'll cut out the eye and the cheek. Make a little necklace out of that. I'm actually working on that for the new year. I'm going to have some jewellery made out of doll parts. So I'm looking forward to that. A bit of small 
slate here. And I'm going to take it. Oh no! Look at this. Pressed black glass something. But it's broken, it would have been huge. This would have been the biggest thing that we found. Not sure what it was though. Brooch? A uh, buckle? Oh, what a shame. Look at that. That would have been incredible. And huge. Oh, I hope we find one of those holes someday. Whatever it was. <laughs> Okay, so I've been sitting just down here for a second because I saw this and I think it's a little black glass bead. It's a hole, is it a hole? Yes! A whole black glass bead. Absolutely fabulous. Um, and then I spot something else, but it's another broken black glass. Oh no. It's another broken black glass button and that would have been a huge one too. Lovely French jet button. What a shame. And I saw something up here that looks like it may be part of a doll or a figurine, but yeah, it was part of a doll or a figurine, but it's like a nondescript piece of it now. And I spot something else over here. Pipe ball. Is it whole? No, <laughs> it's just a fragment. Okay, so I found some seed beads down here, some tiny, tiny little beads, look. And there's two of them, so I'm wondering if they were joined together on something at one point. Because, yeah, they're tiny and I'm just concentrating on not losing them. Tiny little seed beads, yeah, I think I have a feeling that they were probably together on the same piece of whatever. And I think I found another one here. Is it? Yes, it is. Another little seed bead, but I'm going to have to put these in my bag before I get that one. And there's another one further up here. I'm wondering if there's been something dug out of the bank side or eroded out the bank side recently that's had lots of seed beads on it. Can't see anything. An unusual bead find down here. Yeah, look at this. I've seen one like that before. Yeah, this is a white heart bead. They were used as trade beads. We talked about them before, but this one is blue. Yeah, I, I don't not, think I remember we've finding not found, a blue one. No, we've not found one like that before. How cool is that? That's a new one for the collection. Brilliant. I I don't know how I spotted this. I'm going to zoom in. Can you see it? <laughs> it looks a bit bigger on screen, but here's my finger in comparison. I don't even know if I can pick it up. The teeniest. Oh no, I've missed it. Oh no, have I got it this time? Yeah, there it is. Look how small it is. That is teeny, but it's a bead. This looks like a little doorknob, a little Oh wow, well, look at that. It's ceramic. It's been made to look like wood. Wow, that's really beautiful. Oh, I've got my trousers. Hang on. Yes, look. Isn't that lovely? Fantastic. I think I found another bead here in my footstep. Just disturbed it out of the ground. It's mini. It's a lovely colour though. That beautiful colour. Electric blue. And another one. I 
this must be a bead day today again. Can you see that thing there? I thought it was broken glass. I'm not convinced. Yeah, it is. It's a bead. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like that or whether it's uh, like a broken section of bead, but either way, it's still got a hole all the way through it, so I'm counting it as a bead. And another one of our beloved buttons, and it's another little utilitarian trouser button, and it looks like it's got lots of words on it, which may be a local, a local clothier or drapery draper 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 or tailor's business can we see it oh i can see stevenson uh oh it is look i think it says newcastle newcastle oh someone in stevenson let's have a look what's that name uh Dalton, Dalton, and Stevenson, Newcastle. Oh, that's really cool. You can look that up. I love finding these local buttons. The button, which still retains some of its original black enamel, is embossed with Barton and Stevenson, Newcastle. Barton and Stevenson were tailors who operated out of numbers 7 to 9 Mosley Street in Newcastle-upon-Tyne, England. They started out as Barton Wells and Stevenson, but Wells left the business in 1884, leaving Barton and Stevenson to continue the business as specialist tailors. By 1890 this partnership also dissolved, with the two tailors going their separate ways and Barton moving a few doors up the street. In a newspaper notice, he states that he has ceased all connection with his late partner, Mr. Stevenson, and taken the above premises where, with the assistance of experienced cutters, he is continuing his original business. Could there have been some animosity between them? This split dates our button quite nicely to between 1884 and 1890 making it at least 133 years old. We were just saying so far, it's been a bit Pim Slickens. And that's Slim Pickens to you and me. But I've just spot something look at that jewel i was just about to do some scraping on this soil up here that's just collapsed up the bank but it looks like something's come out with it is it all ah uh, yes i'm not even filming it it is it's a beautiful onion skin marble it's a classic onion skin look wow green white pink and there's a yeah there's a a beautiful tone to it. Look at that. You can see the pontal mark. That's the pontal. Wow. Oh goodness, that's beautiful. And it's in really good nick as well. Can't quite tell what condition it is. Oh, it looks quite nice actually. Maybe that's like a near mint or something. Oh, beautiful. I'm so pleased with that. That's absolutely gorgeous. That's my find of the day so far, I think. Lovely nail. Look at this, this is really odd. I just scraped, as I said, you know that clod that had, that had fallen down? Just scraped it down and here, Look at that, reaching up at me. It's a little hand. It's broken. I can tell already it's broken, but I found a broken hand identical to this. Here, before, and I actually cast it, and I've made some jewellery out of it, and here's another one. It's broken. Exactly the same as the other one. That's strange. I've got two to make jewellery out of now. 
actually this one's a bit broken I think yeah it's got some chips out of it maybe not this one then it's a bead found a bead another bead I knew it was bead day today but look at this this piece of masonry here and we're wondering if it was a gravestone or something like that because look it's got this decoration on the edge and there's a two there and something written here I can't work out though it says it's really oh maybe I'm upside oh, I can't be upside down because <sighs> the two would be upside down oh, I don't know no idea Oh look, Mum's found another piece of the same stones. It's got the the same decoration on the edge. It looks really J old. Uh, that looks like it said John. J -J John is is yeah. It looks like it was a gravestone. There's a bit of it there too, just underneath it. Yeah, I wonder what? why it ended up on the tip. It's a bit strange, isn't it? And I found a cod marble because we can't go out for a day without finding a cod marble. It's obligatory. So here it is. And down here is a, a little ink bottle. Oh, it's whole. Oh, I like it. Look at that. That's lovely. Fantastic. I really like that. And another cod marble. But we need these for a project that we're doing. Making a pyramid out of them. A pyramid light, so. Hopefully we'll have enough to do that by Christmas. There is an absolutely beautiful piece of spongeware. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love that. That would have been a beautiful pot with something on it. I love it. I found one of these quite a long time ago now and it was a kind of a honey with added sugar <laughs> so if you need to sort of spread for children. So it's quite a nice pot actually but I don't think I'll be taking it. There's a little bottle here and it looks like it's got something on it. Oh I think it's teaspoons. It is, look. Teaspoons and some lines to measure out each teaspoon. It's quite nice actually. I might take it, I might not. We have too many bottles. And here is a bottle stop. Um, the cork could have been around that bit and it probably had a hole, yeah, it's got a hole going all the way through and it would have had a little screw top on there, probably for, I don't know, vinegar, but it does have a name on it, so what does that say? I'll have to read that at home I think, but yeah, there's something to look up. We actually reckon there's been some <gasps> digging around here. Oh, a marble, mum's found a marble and I just spot this bead. Yeah, it looks like someone's been digging here very recently, possibly this weekend. There's a small bottle there, look. Yeah, with a a digger, a digger yeah, someone's brought a mini digger. Is it whole? It is, it's a little pressed glass, Pre pressed, pressed glass, pressed glass bead, <laughs> fasted, red, beautiful. And what's mum found over there? What's this? Oh, that's one of those mini. Uh, oh, it's a little like mini, mini liquor bottle. bottles, yeah. <clears throat> there, putting some of these, these bottles together. We're not interested in them, but someone else might. We put them at the side. Hopefully they won't get covered up again. But I can see a few. There's another one. Big old bottle. Yeah, and there's one here. The one with the lid still on. What a great place to come for a mudlark.
just at my feet, Mum was showing me a little bottle and I found an Irish pipe or Irish steam pipe. Yeah, look, it's an um, a really highly detailed. Then we've got a Celtic harp and two shamrocks, one on that side and one on the other. Really detailed, can take some prints from that. And down here, I also spot that little bottle. Tiny little amber medicine bottle. And? And we've got a complete bottle. A complete bottle with the, the Vulcanite bottle stopper still in there. There's loads of them. They've left behind loads of complete bottles. It's a shame that they should just be left here, isn't it? But we've got so many of our own. How beautiful is this teapot? It's broken, wow. Look how beautiful the colors are. Look at that. Is that some kind of like agate ware or something? I'm not yeah. sure. Is it, I don't know, isn't it beautiful? It's got anything on the bottom. Oh, it's just got like a squiggle. There's no maker's name or anything. I wonder what kind of pottery that is have to double check it's actually really beautiful look at that the glaze the patterns shame it's broken if it had its handle i would have definitely taken it okay so we saw this tile sticking out and it is a whole tile blue tile but i saw this bit of porcelain here and i think i know oh, might know what it is i hope it's whole i hope it's whole so i think it's a half doll oh, oh. oh, oh. oh. yes She's whole! Oh no, she's not, is she? She's whole! <gasps> oh, oh wow. wow! And she's extremely detailed! That is a beautiful That's one! That's beautiful! Look at that! Wow! I she's am so holding going to something. make something with that. Yes, this would have been sewn on to like a pincushion pin or could have been like... like I think a pincushion because she's quite yeah, small. Yeah, she's quite small, so maybe something look, smaller. Look at the colours, she's beautiful. She is so detailed. This must, wow. must I be German. I wonder if she has Germany written on or the French. bottom. French. Or French. Yeah. Well, some of them French, I think, yeah. 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 And so we've got one at home, haven't we? We've got a whole one that is actually a teapot yeah. um, cozy. Yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> we've got some a lot bigger than that. Yeah, but they're much bigger than this. That but we bought, not found. So that's so the first. This is the first and we're so excited. <laughs> that's brilliant. Fantastic. There's another bucket list crossed off the list because we've never found a whole one of these. Brilliant. Isn't she gorgeous? She is amazing. I absolutely love that. <laughs> I, I, she's so detailed as well and she's not broken at all. She's I know. perfectly complete. What a and find. That is def that's one of our bucket list finds actually. We've been wanting to find a complete one of these half dolls for and ages. I, I can't wait to make a dress for her. Yes, you can make a little dress. That would be great. That'll be amazing. Love it. Finding a complete half doll has been on our bucket list for a long time and this one is a real beauty. Half dolls like this were made to be used in the creation of pin cushions, whisk brushes and later toilet roll covers. Tiny ones were even made to be used as egg cosies. The earliest date from the very end of the 19th century and continued well into the mid 20th century. The heyday was the 1920s as this 1924 newspaper article demonstrates. The doll pin cushion provides a pretty addition to any dressing table and the china figures now being sold for this purpose are fitted into a silk bolster shaped bag, firmly stuffed, a round of stiff cardboard being placed at the bottom first, drawn up around the waist and finished with frills of silk or lace. A length of ribbon forming the crossover bodice, the ends tied in a big bow towards the back. However, the idea of using dolls in the creation of pin cushions began a lot earlier. In the 1850s, we find several mentions of doll pin cushions, and in 1865, this article in the New Peterson magazine gives instructions on how to make one. The first line states, get a small china doll, break off the legs. Hmm, I wonder if that's why we find so many legs on our mudlarks. 
By the end of the 19th century, some of the German porcelain doll manufacturers realised the potential in manufacturing half dolls, especially for the purpose of making into pincushions. These proved to be enormously popular, and French and Japanese manufacturers were soon to follow the Germans' lead. Our half doll probably dates from the 1920s and is in the very popular form of Marie Antoinette. Mum has decided to make her a new dress and transform her into Fairy Antoinette. Follow our new making channel to see her transformation in the weeks to come. So we think they were probably here, the diggers, bottom diggers here over the weekend and they brought a digger in and dug a huge hole and they've done a really good job of covering it over and flanning all out as well um, and it's good for us because there's lots of little bits and bobs on the surface look nice little bottle there but the rain hasn't had a chance to wash the soil off the finds so it looks like we're probably gonna have to return here probably lots of beads just under the surface but down here there is something can you spot it? I'll zoom in. There it is, it's a really small, once again, a really small bead. But it is really pretty, a really pretty blue. And of course all these beads that we find are made of glass mostly, sometimes gemstones, but not plastic. So they're lovely. This looks like a hand. It is a hand reaching up saying, help me. Yeah, I might keep it. Is it a bead or is it a berry? What do you think? I am saying it looks a bit too red to be a berry, but I'm not going to bet on that. So let's have a look. It's a bead. <laughs> Never pass up what you think is a berry, because it could just be a bead. Yeah, a moulded glass bead, you can see the seam down centre. Great. And this looks like a fossil. It is. That's cool. I've just found this tiny little metal lid and I'm wondering if it would fit on that metal stopper I found. Which is quite a long way from where I found this one. Hmm, might be too corroded, but we'll see. What a shame this is broken! It's a little figure bending down, bending down to look at things, and this is literally what I look like when I'm mudlarking. That's what I look like when I'm walking along. <laughs> That's quite funny. But yeah, obviously it's completely broken. There's nothing left of it, apart from the legs. Oh, and I just found that daddy's, daddy's sauce. Yeah, it's my very first cod marble today. My first one. Oh look, and I just found a little lead thing down here. I think it's a bicycle. Yes, look, it's a person riding a bicycle. Or, or is it a bicycle? Motorbike? Something like that. I don't think they've got a head though, as per usual. But that's unique. I don't think we have that, bo <laughs> that one yet. And just down there, looks like a coin. Yes, it is. It's one penny. Oh, and it's Queen Elizabeth II. That's not very old. I was expecting something a little bit older than that. I found this really cute little brass knob and that should clean up really nicely. I might be able to use it on the drawer of a little box or something. I like it. Yeah, a little tiny bit of chain. I've got some deer antlers. I think that's what they are. There's more brass things here. Random brass blob and a random ring of, I don't know, some lead alloy ring. There's all sorts of little bits and things, bits of bobs down here. 
I know, I said, I wasn't going to take any more bottles, but something really nice about this bottle. It's very fluid. And I love the colour. So I might take that. Oh, and another bead. And there's something else down here as well, but it's a little pony bead and look, a little gem. Little glass gem. Lovely, lovely. What's that? Is it just jewellery? It's just jewellery. Just glass. Just a shard of glass. This looks like part of an old mat of some sort. An old doormat or something. It's amazing how it survived. I don't suppose it'll survive for much longer here on the foreshore. Just a piece of someone's lives, you know. I also have this. It's just the like the broken end of a spoon, but looks like it's got decoration on there. It's hard to see because it's really crusty. But I can take that home and make that into jewelry because that's like pendant size. Look, that could be a pendant. I'll take that. And um, I can actually see something over there. I'm not sure if it's a marble or a really lovely pink bead. But we're going to have to struggle under the branches, look, to investigate because I can't leave it be. I think it's a bead. <sighs> there. <sighs> there. Can you see it? And it is, it's a beautiful pink bead, white and white and pink, kind of swirly, pressed, beautiful. I found quite a few beads today, actually. I knew in the beginning of the day it was going to be a bead day. Again, I'm not sure if it's a bead or a marble. Might be a marble. I can't see any holes in it, but it looks quite swirly. Must be a marble. Hmm, but it looks like glass. So, no, must be a marble. Cool. Can you spot the find? They're sometimes very well disguised. I'll zoom in. Can you tell what it is now? It's a bit of a poor dolly. It's just the mouth <laughs> and some, a bit of shoulder. Wouldn't it be fantastic to find a big doll's head like this? But we can make jewellery out of that little mouth. So she's coming home with us. I'm gonna film it first. Okay, so down here is a tiny bead. Look at that. Another bead. It's been a bead day. So I think we found a really crappy find down here. <laughs> it's a toilet! <laughs> it's a toilet! It's literally a whole oh toilet. My oh, it's got the bit, the um, cistern on the back has broken off by the looks of it. No, they wouldn't have had a cistern then. No, did they not? It would have gone up a long pipe to a top. Board. Oh, well, there's something it's broken. A it's broken. a little bit broken off the back. What does that say down it's there? It's got writing on it. Yeah, it's got writing on it. Oh, it says foreign. Oh. Foreign. Wow, so it must have been made between the wars. It's either German or, or after the war, rather. Japanese. Yes. How cool is that? <laughs> I don't think we've, we've never found a toilet. Well, we found whole toilets. We like, found like ordinary size toilets. But not wow. that's so cute. Yeah. I love it. That would be great it's for amazing. a doll's house. Well that's what it would have been out of. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what a find. A doll's toilet. I have to admit, I was feeling a bit flushed after finding it. Mum did write something about the history of doll's toilets, but deleted it because it was a bit crap. 
But seriously, our little toilet is a lovely and unusual find, and certainly a first for us. Found another play kite down here. Um, has it got something on it? I think it does. It's very muddy though. I think it has something on it. And I also found this key. It's a little bit broken. The end's broken off there. But yeah, it's a key. A knackered key. And look at this gorgeous tile. It's broken. Looks like it's been recently broken. Probably when they dug the hole. But that would have been lovely. There's a little bottle down here. Is it the poison bottle? I don't think it is. It's cute there, little panel bottle, but it has no words on it, little burst lip, so I might leave that for somebody else. What's this? Oh, what is this? Is this something? Oh no, I think it's the bottom of something, it's had like a little dress or something and legs but it's all broken up. Never mind. This looks suspiciously like something, I hope it is. Yeah, <laughs> look at that! It's a little tiny plate. That is so cute. Oh, I picked up this marmalade jar and it's unbroken and I quite like it because the lip is slightly different to the ones we found before. It's got a different kind of thing going on there. So I might take that and we can decorate them as well. But anyway, as I was picking that up, look at this, a tiny bottle. What kind of bottle? Oh, we found these before. It's a little pill bottle. Can't remember what it's called. Tabloid, oh yes, tabloid. Yes, we found these before. It's cute though, isn't it? <laughs> and I can't resist. I think I might take that. And this marmalade jar. I know we said we're trying to cut down on picking these up, but I can't help it. That's an unusual one. There's a bottle here. Is it worth taking? It's a lovely little burst lip, but it's got no embossing on it, so I have to leave that behind. Red thing, what is it? What's the red thing? Oh, it's a head! <laughs> it's a swan's head! Or a flamingo, I'm not sure. But there you go, a head. Look at this blob. This is probably a beautiful piece of art glass. Look at the colour of it. Oh, that was probably, yeah, some kind of art glass. Maybe some kind of animal or something, but it's just, I don't know, maybe, who knows, it's a melted blob now anyway. What a shame. Nice big chunky pipe bowl there. But I think I found a button here. Some kind of um, military, no service button of some kind. It's very crusty. It may just disintegrate when I try and clean it, but I'll take it anyway. And there's a big chunky pipe bowl, look at that. Look at the thickness. Well, I don't think you have to be a master to spot this find. It's right there, obviously. It's a beautiful bead. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful like opalescent green pressed bead. And you know what, we found a few of these. We've got a few of these style now, and I realized that they were actually quite a common bead, quite a common necklace. These were from necklaces, and they came in pink and blue, white, green. That's beautiful, a beautiful big one. We'll go nicely in our collection. We've been collecting up some useful and potentially interesting little things here. That stuff is a bit chipped, but I'm not going to use. I'm going to use it for something. So, got a handful of 
potentially interesting little things here. I'm going to use the end of this stopper to make a necklace, so it doesn't matter that the top's a bit chipped. Yeah, there's a little arm, like an articulated arm from a little toy soldier. But, look at this. I think it's quite obvious what this is. Oh, brilliant. A complete blue bead, turquoise blue bead. Gorgeous. And what's this? Oh, it's melted. <laughs> It's a little iodine bottle, but look at it. It's completely mushed. Oh wow, look at that. Another beautiful crystal, looks like amethyst. Wow, shiny. That's beautiful. This is probably, it's probably come out up of local mines when they've been mining lead and coal in the area. That's gorgeous. Wow, keeping that. Um, I also find something here. That lead thing. I wasn't sure what it was, but I think it's actually the barrel of a gun. Now I look at it like that. These, I think, are some of my last finds down here. The tide's on its way back in. Can you see that little porcelain thing there? I think that's a little bird. Yeah, it is, look. It's a little dove. It's off one of those wedding cake decorations. It's a bit broken. And up here, the first thing I saw, look at that bead. What a beauty. Another one I have not yet seen, and I think that may be a Niger Brothers bead, actually. It's beautiful. I absolutely love pressed glass, pressed glass beads. They're just amazing. Another one for the collection. We would like to say thank you so much to all of you for joining us on our adventures in 2022 and we're looking forward to taking you along with us on a whole set of new adventures in 2023. Thank you also for your wonderful support, liking and commenting on our videos and subscribing to our channel. It has helped us so much. Also, if you haven't already, please visit our making channel Northern Mudlarks Make to watch us creating characters from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol out of Victorian clay pipe bowls. Follow the link in the description below. All that leaves now is for us to wish you all a very happy, loving and lucky 2023. Happy New Year everyone! So that definitely was a really interesting mudlock this morning and um, we found some incredible things that amazing bucket list find that I amazing know. doll and can't believe been, that we found lots of broken bits of them and have wished for a, a complete one for ages and, and she's so detailed and beautiful as well absolutely beautiful so, so we're so happy about that yeah one. we are and you know we found loads of beads and we've got some really interesting buttons and other little bits and bobs that we haven't looked up yet so we don't know exactly what we've actually found but you do. <laughs> but you do, yeah. 
anyway on that note we want to say a great big thank you to everyone who's bought something from our Etsy shop recently um, we are gonna have those posted out real soon actually they'll already be gone by the time you're watching this video and a big thank you to everyone who's liked the video left a comment below and to everyone who subscribed and of course an extra special thank you to our patrons on patreon who help to keep us going every month thank you so much and we really appreciate it we do and we'll see you again next, next week, week. Bye. Bye.